Hello, it's me, and I just wanted to let everybody know that I've gone through a skin cancer surgery. For those of you who sit in tanning beds, or lay in tanning beds, I should say, or cook out in the sun, let this be a warning to you. I was raised in Florida and spent my whole life trying to get a suntan. Well, I had red hair and I couldn't get a suntan, but I tried anyway. And you know what we used to bake ourselves with was, um, actually we fried ourselves with baby oil and iodine. And it's just like putting an egg in a skillet. There you go. We cooked ourselves. Well, I developed what I thought was an ingrown hair on my left lower shin bone. And this, this is my foot right here. And um, so I picked at it a bit, thinking I could pull the hair out. And it never healed up for about a month. And it um, formed a scab that I didn't like the looks of. So I went to my surgeon, had her take a look at it, and she biopsied it. And doggone, it was a squamous cell carcinoma. Now, squamous cell is not a melanoma. They tend to stay on the first two in the first two layers of the skin, but if not treated and removed, they can become invasive. Um, Many men get them on the top of their heads or around the top of their ears because they're out in the sun working, particularly around here, the farmers, they don't put sunscreen on. I mean, do you ever see a farmer put on sunscreen? And naturally, as a child, a young girl, I did not use sunscreen. Well, my legs are not exposed to the sun now, but years ago they were, and so it was the accumulation of years in the sun. Anyway, I had surgery for this squamous cell. She took a biopsy, which was just a little punch thing. But now I'm going to show you what this atrocious thing looks like now. If I can get all this tape off. Because this should be a warning to all of you who think that a suntan is a desirable thing because you can get self-tanning and it can do the same thing or you can end up with this nasty looking five inch scar across the very front of your leg. How pretty is that? Obviously there's not a lot of extra skin to pull, uh, pull together here across a leg so she's stitched me all over the place as you can see inside and out and the bruising is just I don't think you can see the bruising but it goes all the way down my leg the bruising it's just atrocious I'm going to have such an ugly leg now because I don't scar well but thank God I went to the doctor so for those of you who ignore little things that you think is nothing don't ignore it because you could end up with a scar like this or even worse you could have a melanoma. Um, melanomas are very common for people who lay in sunbeds so or tanning beds. So there you are. Lesson learned for me I'll tell you that. And this thing popped up like overnight. This was not something that had been there for years and I finally be became alarmed about it. It was there overnight and I noticed it and I thought, oh, just a hair because I'd shaved my legs. So anyway, it's healing. It's not that painful anymore, but it was not a pleasant experience. I am appalled at the size of the scar, but she had to take a big wedge. And I think the thing was just right right there. No, it was right here where she has all this double stitching. But um, anyway, if this makes you sick, imagine if it were on your own leg for not using sunscreen. So, all right, this is Judy.
See you later.